Hello Aries, welcome to your horoscope for June 2020. So um, with the planets for this month, we do have on the 5th of June, Saturn will be going retrograde in your 11th house. And then on the 4th of the month, you got Mercury, um, which will finish its retrograde in your 2nd house. So the 11th house is the house of friends. So with Saturn going... Um, Retrograde, it's like when a plan's go retrograde, it's sort of looking at the past or going backwards or the energy might not be um, doing as it should, but there is Saturn that's sort of causing issues so that it could, um, it's still causing more issues, but it might sort of think that things may be slowing down in that area in your life as well. Um, with the second house with um, Mercury, the second house is earnings, so this can, with Venus going direct, um, this could be good for signing contracts or starting a new job or being more confident in your communication in the workplace, even stating about where you are, or what you want from a workplace. And then you've got from the older month, you have Mars and Jupiter will be in your first house. So this can be um, a very positive transit. This can bring about luck, like going in the wrong, right direction. It can be you might be feeling like you've got more, um, like you can do more things, or you've got more energy. It could be more assertive. You might um, just control your temper. You might get a bit more angry with this as well, or frustration might be coming out. But with the Jupiter there, it, it will be able to help. But it's about, you know, doing what you want to do and planning and having more energy, as well as having that other, you know, the other negative side that I always talk about with Mars. On the 14th, Mercury will go into your third house, so the house of siblings and social. Um, so again, this can be good for asserting yourself with siblings, having communications, or um, even like looking at doing these things like social groups as well. And then on the 25th um, of June, Venus goes into your third house. So again, good for spending time with social groups, um, like hobbies, and would also to be... Um, meeting up with like siblings as, as well. So when I look at the cards here, um, Aries, it, this card is really standing out to me. I kind of feel like with this uh, with this month, it's going to be a bit of, um, I feel like this is kind of like scales, like should I, you know, should I, should I stay or should I go or something here? Like should I stay or should I go? Is, the, is it green on the other side? Like even being a little bit envious, about what people have but at the same time there's also celebration around you and I even feel like it even could be like new beginnings as well coming up around you as well so I do feel like um, you might even win something you might come first in the competition there's some sort of celebration coming up uh, for you that I do feel and I do feel like at work you it is going to be a good month I do feel like for your career and work and earnings you might feel like you get overworked a little bit this month and you might need to take a nap. Um, this is my new deck, by the way, it's like a friends deck. And it could be like you're on a search for something, but I do feel like you're, you're going to be quite happy and content with work this month. I feel like that the energies that are there around you are there to help you to move forward and to bring in what you want to bring in for the moving into the future. Let's look at relationships with you. Look, you could be tempted this month from like uh, someone from your past could be coming back into your life or could be tempted in relationships might be coming back in for you. Um, it could be like, I feel like it's a, in terms of like love, it's like a very magical month. Um, I feel like it's a month where, the, where there's could be new beginnings happening for you, where things are blossoming, opening up. But I do feel like there could be an energy of someone from the past could be coming in, coming in for you as well. Um, I also feel like just I feel like there could be some arguments happening or discussions with siblings, but um, one person might feel left out or they're not included in something I feel could be on the cards there with siblings, but also with family. I do feel like um, very content. You might be feeling more intuition with your family, but it's like you're. You're the different, like this month you're going to be different from everybody else. And 
you're going to do your own thing and be more independent and live your own life the way you're wanting to live other than being surrounded or doing what people want you to do this month i feel like um they're aries okay in terms of friends um social look i do feel like they, there even could be a um a romance or something sparking up between a friend or discussions or someone apologizing or saying sorry with friends potentially this month too but with when it comes to money i feel like you might come to a halt where you may be trying to save for something and you won't, might not be able to put as much money or more money into your savings or it's like or you need to take control of your savings and your finances to be able to move forward in what you want um the ninth you even might this month could potentially might even be going on to um some sort of like weekend um treat or going away however i feel like be careful where you go or be careful your footing or where you're going um or also it could be about having trust and true like having trust maybe the message you're receiving having trust everything's going to be okay but i also feel like it potentially could be on a little travel or um, a little holiday somewhere maybe coming up this month for you kind of feel like in terms of your health it might be very dreamy month like you might be daydreaming a lot but i feel like it's a month for you taking action even for your health like your in your diet maybe looking at what you're eating what you're doing but i feel like it's about can taking a lot of this i feel like it's about taking control of your life again um bringing what you've bringing everything back in the fold of what you're what you're wanting um with everything and i just feel like there's an energy here of not giving up and being more determined than you have been before I'm just going to see what else I can get for you, Aries. Okay. Aries, you are the strongest star sign. And you're, this month for you was going to be a month of different types of negativity coming into your life. You're going to learn to block these negative energies out. You're going to learn to be more stable. You're going to learn to achieve new things. You just have to learn to trust and believe in yourself and believe in what's happening around you is happening for the better, not for the worst. For it is easy to think that something is bad and it's the worst, but try and look on the positive side and the brighter side and see that everything, even negative, will have a silver lining and will have a spot where there is a good thing, whether it be a lesson or something to come out of it, which you just can't see yet. Hold on tight, Aries, for this year is going to be a bumpy ride for you. There's a lot of energy coming up, but you're going to feel stronger and strength. But also, don't forget, you're also going to feel a bit of manipulation at play from someone else quite, quite close to you. Just be on guard for that, but live your life as confident as best as you can. Okay, um, so this month, uh, well, this is going to be in June, but obviously I'm going to be at MBS at the end of May. Um, and... I am still available for readings. If you'd like to contact me for a reading, please do so. And um, I think at the moment, it's, I still got my radio show happening on A1R Radio, which is playing at 11 p.m. Uh, 11 p.m. Thursday night, New York time. At the moment, for Sydney, it is a 1 p.m. on a Friday for Sydney. But thank you for your likes, shares, and your comments, and I will see you for the horoscope for my next video. So bye for now.